all in our hands this life of time that's given to us all. It has been a really, really long winter. Um, and actually winter kind of came really fast this last year. Uh, poor Phil, the float pacer has actually been, well, he kind of got left on the shoreline last year because the lake actually froze uh, the night that I was pulling Phil out of the water. So today I, uh, I decided to come over and check on Phil and it's warm enough finally. The season is, uh, you can feel it. We're gonna be in the season here soon. I actually haven't started this airplane since I would say probably mid-October. So today we are going to see if we can start Phil. In order to do that, we gotta do a few things first. So let's get in and take a look at him and see what we can do. So we've done a few things we gotta do on it before the season hits. <laughs> One, unbury the trailer. Phil is a Piper Pacer on Edo 2000 floats. Um, this aircraft is, does everything that I needed to do as a float plane. But if you've never flown a Pacer before, you, uh, you don't truly understand what you're looking at uh, until you've flown one. They are very short coupled which means they have a very narrow or very shortened fuselage. And so when you fly these as a normal tail wheel, the back end tries to come around on you. Um, they also have a pretty uh, short wingspan. They're just a short coupled airplane and they're, they're pretty tricky to fly. When you put them on Edo 2000s, like the floats that they're on now, it gets a little bit better, but it's still a pretty short little airplane. Uh, we're gonna try a few things first though. I wanna see if our fuel drains up there, I wanna see if those are frozen or if we're gonna be able to drain some fuel out of there. I wanna see if there's any water in the uh, in the fuel tanks. It looks like uh, pitot tube is still in pretty decent shape there. That's nice to see. Looks like everything else, it looks like it kinda fared pretty well through the winter, even though, like I said, we had a we had a pretty brutal winter. Do a quick walk around on this thing. Uh, it definitely is starting to turn into spring. You got a little grass under this. I am trying really hard to walk through this. I've got probably about three feet of snow that I'm going through right now. But yeah, overall, it looks like it fared pretty well. Let me get a uh, fuel sumper. Let's see if we can uh, sump some of these tanks. No water in that one. That is all fuel. Just, you can barely see it, just a little bit of water. And now, and you can just barely see the bottom. It just started, and then it went all fuel after that. All right, let's see what the belly looks like. No water in that one. Good. See? All right, so. We're gonna verify that the magnetos are off. I'm gonna pull a couple of blades through, get a little oil circulating in it. So let me just verify. Mags are off, key is out. I'm gonna pull three blades through. Just making sure nothing's dragging, making sure everything moves freely. There's our compression stroke. Shouldn't be a compression stroke. All right, and while we're on this side, let's check our oil. Plenty of oil. Oil looks like it's in pretty good shape. Let's see if it'll start. I have my bets that it will. My friends think that it won't, but let's find out. Alrighty, key is in, 
mags to both. The uh, starter switch is actually down low. We're gonna do a uh, mixture full rich. We're gonna shoot a few shots of prime into it. There's one. There's two. There's three. All right, let's go three shots of prime. We're gonna crack the throttle about a quarter inch. And then, uh, clear prop. I'd say it started. Oil temperature, oil pressure, both coming in. Warm up a bit. I'm gonna give it a little bit of mixture. Let's let it warm up a bit and uh, see what happens. Well, I know we didn't get our go flying today. The weather is not exactly the greatest today, and well, let's be honest, I don't think Phil could get off the lake today. But we did get a start an engine, and anytime I get a start an engine on an airplane, it's a good day. So Phil gets his annual here in about a week. Um, the annual, I think, is coming to him this time. Usually it's done in my hangar, but this time around, it looks like the mechanic is coming to the airplane. In a few weeks, the snow is going to be melted, the lake is going to be open, which means it is going to be time to take Phil out and do some adventuring. I really hope that you join us along on those adventures. We have a lot of really cool stuff planned for this year. If you like this kind of content, make sure to hit subscribe. We'd love to have you along on the journey. Hope you have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you on the next one.